Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. All right, we're going to do a review on the Evest LUC V4 charger. Well, for you, those that don't haven't watched me other videos, uh, I've actually purchased this out of my own money to replace a Nightcore which uh, went a bit wrong a couple of days ago. Right, as a actually housed in a nice robust box uh, so look. it seems to have a nice cartoony type type uh, instruction -y thing which uh, you quite often get with these Chinese items obviously as far as I know it's made in China, yeah, as you see it says made in China, right. Open the box and um, what you get in here is you get a mains adapter, the charger itself, an instruction booklet and a world warranty card to say how long the warranty is for. Right, it says that the warranty is valid for three years, so that's that's a bonus. Let's just put that away. Right, let's go over to the instructions. They're nice and glossy. I have had a quick read through them. Uh, the, the English is very good. The diagrams are very good. And uh, I must admit the charger is very easy to use. The downside on this charger compared to my old Nightcore is that this is really dedicated for single cell lithium ions I mean it it does basically uh, from 340 mil long up to 650 mil up to 650 mil long Diameters up to 26 mil in diameter. I don't know how that would actually fit in there. You probably only use the outer two or something. But yeah, these take cells like this that you find in torches, electronic cigarettes. I mean, this one's uh, an 18650, which is eight, 18 mil diameter, 650 mil long. So it can take any battery from uh, 340 mil long to 650 mil long, and I wonder if the diameter matters too much. But yeah, diameters from 10 upwards up to 26. Like I said, the downside is for this one is that the the night core will do things like rechargeable AAs. Uh, nickel metal hydrides, uh, NICADs, things like that. This one is solely single cell lithium ions. But it does have an added bonus. It's got a, a USB socket and you can actually use this as a power bank by having a charge battery in slot number two. Right, I'm going to power this up. Actually... I'm plugging a transformer in at the moment. Right, construction. It's quite a sturdy construction. Single button on the top. Obviously, uh, DC jack. Unlike the Nightcore or some of the others, which uh, may, you, they're directly mains driven. This has got its own transformer, which I suppose we all talk about. Came with a UK plug. I did buy it from a UK shop. Uh, and the the actual power supply is 12 volts at 2 amps. Right. Let's plug in. Let's start off. Hopefully. Can we? Hopefully uh, you can see this display. It's hard to actually tell while filming what it's going to come out like. Right, you basically, let's get my hands out of the way. you got your four slots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Above this, you've got the cell voltage for each. you got a charge, a percentage charge indicator here. 
and the actual current that it's charging at. If you wanted to change that, by default when you switch on it's half an amp, which I think is fine, I don't like charging things too fast, but you can, so, so you can actually charge four at once at half an amp. Press the button, it toggles, the, now we're in a charging mode of one amp, so each cell can be charged at one amp, four off, toggle again, right, now we're charging at two amps, but you can only utilize slots two and three. Right, let's just unplug this a bit, and we go about the USB power bank. If you put a battery in slot 2. What I will say is these slides, I don't know if it's because it's new, but these slides are, are, they're a bit ca you know, it's catching a bit. They're not as smooth as what Midnight Core was, but then Midnight Core was fairly old, so it had time to wear in. Right, if, you, if you've got a cell in a slot 2, and you press and hold this button for about one second, let's see if I can focus on it should come up with this battery symbol which means this charge port is active I think it goes off because I ain't got anything it's not pulling anything it's not drawing anything have I got anything USB that I can plug into uh, as usual nothing at hand but yeah you can so you can use this you can plug in press this and then you can use that to charge your phone I'm still looking. I know what. I've got an old Adreno project here. Let's uh, let's plug in. Right at the moment, it's off. So if we press and hold, okay, it's powering on. And as you see, we've got five volts coming out to power or charge our phones. It doesn't actually stay on long. I wonder why that is. Maybe because it's not pulling enough current or something. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a current limit on it or something. Uh, I ain't got anything else that'll pull a bit more. Well, the battery might be flat. Right, anyway, I'm detracting from the review anyway. But as I said, you can press that for a second and then you should be able to supply power to your USB devices. Right. Let's power it back up again. That should... As you can see, or hopefully you can see, the actual display is quite clear. If we just put a battery into this slot. She says this battery is at 4.16 volts. Obviously it's fully charged and you've got a little arrow which is showing that it is charging it. I wonder how accurate that actually is. Right. I don't know if I can get on the connections, but let's have a look. 4.17. See if we can. I'm going to struggle to get on. I might have to do something like. That. Well, I'm having trouble actually keeping connection at the same time. So. Saying 4.18, the fluke says it's 4.186. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That, that seems pretty accurate. And all the, all the slots are going to be pretty much the same. Yeah, all the slots are pretty much the same. Right, construction is nice, robust plastic, which I've probably said. There's one of these which seems to be coming more popular which is an anti-counterfeit anti service where you scratch off and you can 
check online to see if you got the original product. Knowing, knowing the store that I purchased this in, I would have thought this is the original product and I haven't bothered uh, checking. Right, as let's just see, let's just put some batteries in. Let's get a good picture a view of that. Hopefully I am hoping to try and brighten it up for you. I don't know if that's too bright. The uh, display is actually crystal clear. Uh, quite often it doesn't come out on video as uh, well as it should. Uh, can't think of anything else to say about it. It's a charger and I'm hoping it's going to last any, uh, as much as me uh, night core did. Uh, I probably will miss having the uh, facility for charging things like AAs and things like that. But uh, it's something I do very rarely and I do have countless AA charge, uh, chargers anyway. Uh, just to mention as well, I said about LiPo bags for charging. Here's one that I purchased from eBay. It's a Trungi Power Systems one. And from now on, I'm going to be a bit safer. And all charging will be done sealed in here. So if any time I have a problem, it's hopefully contained. And I won't have the same dramas I had uh, last week. Okay, hope that was uh, useful. Can't think of anything else I need to say. Yeah, like I said, it, it, it is just a charger. And... Uh, Oh, might as well, uh, the price I paid was like £29. I did buy it from a UK shop. I'm sure you can probably purchase it cheaper online. But seeing it does have the anti counterfeit thingy, they're obviously wor either worried or there is a counterfeits of this product around. So be very wary. Uh, make sure you purchase from a reputable source. Okay, many thanks for watching.